you check this out real quick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think we're good to go. Just make certain. I'm going to kick it off. I'm pretty sure it's good. All right, Shalom, Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out, prophesying the downfall of this present evil world. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to all you Akim pushing his word, truth, and sincerity. All right, we're the brothers of Great Millstone Chicago with some honored guests, the brothers from uh, the Great Millstone Indianapolis, and uh, got a couple bros from uh, Wisconsin, a couple bros from Cleveland. All right, uh, Great Millstone Cleveland. So, uh, hey, Lord will, we're going to kick it off and uh, hopefully it's edifying. Y'all brothers got it. It's Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, <laughs> and the gift destroyeth the heart. That's right. And a wise man right now is going to be bad in the times. Because what? You're supposed to have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, knowing that, hey, we're in our captivity. We're the true uh, powers of this earth. We're the children of Israel. So with you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? And it says what? Uh, hey. A gift destroyed the heart, man. Because our people have been uh, 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 destroyed, but what? Hey, all these uh, federal benefits that they get, all right? Uh, uh, they, they were going crazy over the stimulus checks, man. Hey, oh, hey, this president's all right. You know, hey, our, our people trust in the system, man. All right? You know, uh, they don't want to leave American Babylon the great, man. They want this little thing to keep, keep going on and on, man. Right, and be peasants. That's man. right. You know what I'm saying? See, our people not kingdom minded, man. Like a, a royal mindset. Scripture's talking about in that uh, Wisdom of Solomon. I just quoted. Um, uh, if your delight be in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, then honor wisdom. See, our people, they delight just, hey, as long as they got uh, a, a couple dollars, some food, you know, uh, play the game, got some weed to pussy. smoke, some pussy. They, all right, they, they good. They good. They good. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. All right, but that's a peasant mindset, man. Always uh, with the, the, the saying go, chasing the bad. Right. No, 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 see, with a kingdom mind, hey, we, you don't dole out the bags, you know? Right. We got all the bags, right. you know? And we dole them out as we see fit through the spirit of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shah. Right. But our people, they like being a peasant. They like being, you know, under these heathen nations, yeah. man, in captivity, the tail. Yeah. Right, go ahead, brother. The second Edges, chapter seven and verse 42, he answered me and said, this present life is not the end where much glory doth abide. Therefore have they prayed for the weak. And hey, is the elder just going into, man? Hey, this ain't it, man. Hey, our people are at the bottom of the barrel. They the, they the last, uh, last hired first fire, man. We in the lowest state, but hey, you got two thirds of our people that suffice with that. That's cool with them, you know? Verse 43, but the day of doom, which goes into the day of judgment, the day of sentence, the day of decree, shall be the end of this time, this first heaven and this first earth, wherein the door of all manner of wickedness, right? And the beginning of the immortality before it comes. So after the judgment comes to this place, as the scriptures say, uh, uh, Esau is the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning of it that, that follows. Hey, we're going to be made immortal. That's what we're going to live, enjoy life, you know, get to have children and enjoy them, you know, have everything that we need plus more. It says, uh, the beginning of the immortality for to come wherein corruption is past and temperance which is a lack of self-control a lack of self-restraint is at an end because we're going to be perfected man we're going to have to uh be trapped in these chains of darkness no more fighting to do what's right you know doing what's wrong now nah, we're going to be a hundred percent good it says intemperance is at an end infidelity is cut off so a hey, uh, uh disbelief in the most high power that's going to be out of here man hey everybody is going to acknowledge the heavenly father every knee shall bow it's, it says uh, righteousness is grown and the truth is sprung up. So it's going to be 100% uh, in good. That's the heavens and the, that's the, that's that uh, continual city that we live for, man. A more continual place, you know. Quick and transit. Water. Uh. Uh, hey, uh, go ahead. Y'all got it. First Corinthians, chapter 1. Verse 1. 
1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52. In the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Woo! See, that's what we're looking for, man. We're looking for that change, man. See, we grown to be in those bodies that is a... Uh, uh, is uh, uh have the law statutes and commandments all right written in our minds and our hearts man all right see because in these bodies like the apostle paul said he said for will to for to will is present with me but how to perform that which is good i find not all right why because we in these corruptible bodies we in these chains of darkness so while we will to do perfectly all right in our minds he said, I find another law in my members, you know, warring against the law of my mind, all right, and bringing me into that captivity, all right? And here it is, this flesh, all right, is subject to vanity, all right? Subject to going off. That's why it says a just man fall it seven times, but get back up again, all right? But like the apostle Paul goes on to say, he said, hey, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? All right, see, we're gonna be in immortal bodies, See, right now, these are mere mortal bodies where we die, all right? Why? Because we go off. We don't perform that which is good. What's good? The wisdom of the Most High God, which includes law, statutes, and commandments, instructions, and righteousness. That's why it says it also in that Wisdom of Solomon 6 how, hey, uh, you know, in the, the, the wise is the welfare of the world. He said, uh, about keeping the instruction and it shall do you good. You know what I'm saying? If you keep the instructions, and I'm talking about performing. See, right now in this uh these these this this flesh box, all right, where you know we're subject to vanity, all right, going off, all right, here it is, we wind up <clears throat> ultimately dying. Okay? See, but in those bodies that we're gonna be in. All right, uh, that we're promised to be in where he said that, hey, this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. All right, how the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be written in their minds and their hearts. All right, that's the body that we want, man. All right, you got something? Yep, this 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 1, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of the Most High and house not made with hands eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house which is which is from heaven if so be that being clothed we shall not be found naked for we that are in this tabernacle do grow being burdened not for that we like he says not for that we will be unclothed but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of death that's it because right now you know it, it's like being naked that's a shame all right because you're not clothed upon with the wisdom it says in that uh isaiah 52 put on uh in one all right put on thy strength O zion all right our strength is the wisdom from above all right our strength is these wisdom i mean uh, these laws statutes and commandments man the judgments of the most high god that's our strength all right and we have to put that on see but in these bodies that we're in right now we can't perform it but we rehearse it and do the best that we can but we got to fight to do that see jake out here they not fight nope they doing whatever it is they flesh want to do. No temperance. You know? And that's why we in the predicament that we in today. Look at our people, man. All right, but go ahead. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. This Isaiah, this Isaiah chapter 52, verse 1. <laughs> awake, awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem. The holy city, for henceforth, there shall no more come to thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. You know, as the elder was saying, we need to, you know, we need to be awakened. We need to come back to our power. We need to come back to these raw sense of the to the best of our ability. That's the way of life. We live in this corruptible and carnal flesh. It's easy for you to fall to be consumed to the wickedness of this world. But once you wake up and come to this truth that the Lord brings you into, then you start to you know, consider the ways that you was going off with by, and then you start, start to change them and be conformed. If you not being conformed to this world, but being transformed by the renewing of your mind. They say, shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down from Jerusalem, loose thy neck from the beds of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. So like I said, shake that self from that dust, shake that self from the confusion. 
you know, that corruption, you know, and like I said, put on that immortal mind. Because the first it starts in the mouth, right? That's where it starts at. And then ultimately it starts to manif manifest. You know, ultimately at the end we receive salvation. So of course, when this flesh we gonna fall, we continue to pick ourselves back up. And we try, you know, and we try our best to right that wrong and not do it again. But we ultimately know that it won't be manifested until in the kingdom where we have the law such commandments downloaded within our members that we'll never go off. This is at Romans chapter 7, let's start at verse uh, 15. For which, for for that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that is good. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Right, because we're, we're in that corruptible flesh, man. And so we need those spiritual bodies, man. We need, the, we need the most high to save us, right? And give us those celestial bodies and download this in us, man, so that we won't go off, man. Because what? The wages of sin are death, right? So in and, and order us to live forever, man, we're going to no longer sin. But then that's what the Lord's going to allow us to uh, be a part of right. he said he's gonna cause us That's right you know what I'm saying to walk in his ways man he's gonna cause us all right but I like <clears throat> that scripture because the Apostle Paul said so then it is not you know that I that do it but sin that dwelleth in me thing is is you could say the same thing if you have faith in your shot you could say the same thing if you rehearse in the righteous acts to the best of your ability all right. See, but if you don't have faith in Yahweh Shai, you know, then you can't say that. It's you. Because, like the scripture says, curse be the man that trusteth in man and maketh flesh his arm. That's right. All right. If that's who you are, then you curse. All right. See, we we saying that, nah, this ain't us, man. All right. We ain't this flesh. We're our spirits. And that's why we sow to the spirit, man. All right. Because sowing to the flesh, you reap corruption, death. You know what I'm saying? But y'all guys, man, put the real quick. Romans 8 and 20. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. So, like you said, it's in our members that we don't want to go off, but we was created, like I said, we were subject to the vanity. We were subject to that was part of things, the sin and the wickedness. You know, but ultimately in our inward parts of our mind, we don't want to sin. But if we won't, uh, we gotta wait till we receive salvation and be changed, so that we won't sin no more. Yep. Because it's the will you have by Shem that was shot. Yep. And if I may say real quick, that Romans 15 and 4 says, "Whatsoever things was written aforetime was written for our learning." So one may ask, "Well, then why, why did He make us to go off?" Oh, it was all for our learning, man. We had to go through this experience because guess what? We're gonna judge over those that's in just flesh in the kingdom. Experience. Yeah. And so to judge righteously, we had to have been with the, what they've been through, all right? And see, that's why there's a, a, a governing body. There's gonna be a rank and file in the kingdom of heaven. And the, the upper echelon, the aristocrats, if you will, those are the ones that fought down here in this flesh, fighting against the flesh, all right? Because, hey, in the kingdom, we can judge righteously and say, hey, we've been there and done that, and we fought. You know what I'm saying? So now y'all fight to do, to, to, to do what's right. All right? To do good. Because if you do good, then it shall do you good. All right? Well, go ahead. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. But that's only for the Israelites there. Right, right there. Because, yeah, we had to, you know, be subject to vanity. Yeah, we had to be subject to these chains of darkness. All right, and it was all for our learning, but ultimately, like he said, we read that one again that last verse uh, Romans 8 and 21 because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. And that's the Israelites, man. All right, that's the Israelites who he said, Hey, hear, uh, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. All right. That's, that's us, the Israelites, who's going to be changed, who has the promise of having these laws, statutes, and commandments written in your minds and your hearts, all right? So right now, we had to go through the straight gate. This is the place where he said, rise ye, depart, for this is not your rest. It's polluted. It shall destroy you if you wit it, all right? See, we're against this place. We speak against this place, all right? 
and we're hoping for the, 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 the kingdom, all right, which is going to come, but we hope that it come yesterday. But it's still on the, the, the will of the Most High, so we wait, all right? And while we wait, we try to learn, grow, all right? We confess, help build the house of David, all right? Rehearse the righteous acts, grow in the spirit, but we got to fight to do that, man. All right. See, but like the brother that went into that uh, 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 scripture earlier about how a gift destroyed the heart. All right. So you get all the alluring of this world and the dainties of this world and give you this subsidized house and they may give you an NBA contract, NFL contract, give you a movie deal. You know what I'm saying? So it looked like, hey, you doing it kind of big. And you know what I'm saying? But at any time, boom, that shit could be gone. And they say, nope, your shit over with. And if you ain't down with the program, they demonize you. Look at the R. Kelly's. Look at the Bill Cosby's. All right? The list goes on and on. All right? Other ones, they just get rid of you. All right? You want a part of this program? Then you're going to get the portion of the wicked. All right? Y'all got it. This is a Baruch for uh, chapter 4, verse 28. For as, it, for as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned to seek him ten times more. Right. It was meant for us to go off, all right, for what? So that we, so that we could learn from this, uh, from, learn from what happened, right? But now that we return back to the Lord, to Yahweh Shem it says seek him ten times more. All right, so we got to go harder for the Lord now that we have his name and, and what he requires of us. Yep. That's it. This is Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 33. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts and write, write it in their hearts and will be their power and they shall be my people. All right, so ultimately, hey, that, that's a part of the, uh, the ultimate gifts that Yahweh Bashem Yashai is going to bestow on the nation of Israel, man. All right, not being able to go off. Man. All right, because when you go off, all right, you're provoking the Lord to, to wrath, all right? And, and you know, hey, that, that that's probably one of the most ultimate gifts, all right? It is, because for me. Once, <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, because you, like I said, hey, you, you don't go off, man. All right. All right? You don't go off. And if you don't go off, that means you don't die. It says the wages of sin is death. Even if you do have a little, little itty bitty, it says a little leaven, leaven at the whole lump. You do one thing to transgress life, you die. These are the instructions of life. This is the word of life. This is the law of life, right here. All right? And one itty bitty go off, now you done leavened the whole lump. Now you gotta die. <laughs> all right now you now you gotta die all right that's why that is the best gift that here it is <clears throat> we're not gonna go off not one iota not one little bitty speck of going off all right and again he said that's promised to the israelites all right so like you still going now you know and, and another two you know uh the names of yahweh by shimei al-shai they're gonna be exalted uh uh you know all, all, all the earth and, and you know the universe that's it all right you know uh, uh, you you're going to be able to uh, see perfection all right in, in, in the physical realm man all right and you have Hashem Yashai, you know he's he's uh uh giving us the spirit to actually understand these things all right you know and, and you know that's that's the lord's form mercy on us that's it that's it <laughs> this is ezekiel chapter 36 and I'm going to start at verse 23. Which says the same thing Jeremiah just said. Go ahead. It says, And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. Right. Ye, talking about you Israelites, have profaned the name of our father, man, in the midst of the heathen. Go ahead. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, said the Lord God. When I shall be sanctified in you Woo! before their eyes. I, hey, he said that he's going to be sanctified in a particular people. All right, the Israelites. He's going to be sanctified in them before the eyes, before the sight of these heathen. They're going to see and say, wow, 
All right, just like back in the day, like when, uh, uh, in that Deuteronomy, it says, they said, wow, what a wise and understanding right. people. Right. All right, they were wooed at the way that we lived, all right? See, but what was innately in them was a different way. So while they were wooed, they still went back to their own way. And then ultimately over time, what happened, they got jealous. All right, that's why in that Lamentations it says, man, all the nations looked and wagged their head and hissed and pointed and laughed and said, is this the nation that they call the perfection of beauty? <laughs> we have found it because they all wanted us to come down because guess what? All nations, they want to rule. You know what I mean, like, I want to rule too. That's right. Hey, that's right. See, but when I rule, I want to rule with the ways of the creator. See, when uh, uh, Moab uh, ruled, they want to rule with cats and dogs, you know what I'm saying? That make sure everybody got to eat them, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, whatever little, you know, customs that they have, all right, that's what they're going to rule with. <clears throat> Matter of fact, somebody get that uh, Ciroc 10. Yeah, what's going on? With the abomination only diet. You can't eat nothing off Exactly. It's just only abomination. Exactly. All right, when the Arabs rule, they want to rule their way with their customs. You know what I'm saying? When the ham rule, they make sure everybody eat doo doo and put that on their face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Their food. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Putting their face in, in a, 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 a cow ass, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And doing. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's if ham, they want to rule with their ways. All right? And their gods that they just made up. You know what I'm saying? But that when people rule, of course, they're going to rule with what's innately in them. You got that? Go ahead. Uh, this is the book of Sirach. Chapter 10, verse 1. Uh -huh. A wise judge uh, no. will instruct his people. Uh -huh. And the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Keep going. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. Yep. And the and what manner of man the ruler of the city is, uh -huh. such are all they that dwell therein. Look at the people in the world today. They won't, the, 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 they covetous. They want glory for themselves. Everything is about smash that like button. Look at what I just ate. Look at my plate. Look at my vacation that I went to. Praise me. Give me some love. Give me this. Give me that. Look at me. Glory for me. Give me an ovation. You know, all that. This is because guess what? Esau Edom is like that. And so everybody else is like that. Read it again, brother. From the top? Well, not from the top, but uh, with the top of what you just read. Okay. Right. And as the judge, of the people is uh -huh. himself, uh -huh. so are his officers. So are those that's going to rule under the, the, the top ruler, all right? Then Because you, you got your top ruler, and then you got those that rule with him, under him, all right? And they're going to be just like the ruler. And then when they rule, the people that they rule over going to be just like them. Go ahead. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. You see? Such are they that all, that dwell therein. All right, so when any particular nation, matter of fact, got to go to one of my faves, 33, uh, same book, 33 and 10. All right, to make this point. Yes, sir, go ahead. Um, you know, and, and, and like the brother said, out of the scriptures, man, like the ruler is, so are the people, but it's really a perfect storm. You know, me and the brother Murphy was talking about this yesterday, how um, the elder Malcolm posted something and it said that uh, testosterone levels now for 17 year old man is lower than somebody from the 80s All right. that's like 60 years old you know as as we go on further and further we get weaker um, so I'm going to read the scripture real quick this is um, the book of 2nd Edris chapter 5 verse 52 say unto her wherefore are unto they whom thou hast now brought forth like those that were before but less of stature and she shall answer thee, they that be born in the strength of you are of one fashion, and they that are born in the time of age when the womb faileth are otherwise. Hey. And see, what we're really talking about here is a perfect storm. Because not only do we have the basis of men ruling us, which is going to put a mentality on you, yep. but we also are in a position right now where we at the weakest, which make you more susceptible to your flesh and more susceptible to bending the knee to the type of shit that they talking about. Perfect, man. Which is why everybody want to be a mo, that's cool. Everybody want to follow behind the woman, that's cool. Everybody want to do whatever the fuck they want to do. Eat whatever they want to eat. Nobody don't got no integrity, that's at a premium right now. Because people are weaker, and then on top of that, you got the stimulation 
of this damn animal teaching you how to be an animal at the same time when you at your weakest. That's it. Yep, because right now, it says that the basis of men are in power, man. You know what I'm saying? So like the brother was going into, this world not only is getting more wicked, all right, it's getting more weaker. Like the scripture says, for this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities, all right? And then guess what? With every second, it gets more wicked. With every second, it gets more weaker. All right? And this is the vibration that's being pushed out here, man. All right? Why? Because the wicked, the most wicked, and the most weak is ruling right now. All right? And I always talk about it of late, of the, you know, the wisdom of the most high and the balance of it. And how you have under the most high, of course, you know, and it starts to get, you know, basically less powerful, should I say. So you got your Hawashi, all right, who is powerful but less powerful than the most high God. Then after him, you got the rest of the creation, which start off with the nation of Israel, which start off with King David, right? So under Yahweh Shai, you got King David, which is less powerful, all right? Then you got the rest of the 12, then you got the rest of the 144, the rest of the one third, and then at that last one third, then instead of progression up, it's retrogression down. From the rest of the Israelites to the rest of the nations, all the way down to the weakest and basest nation, Esau Edom. That's who ruling now. He's the wickedest and he is the weakest. Check out the power of the Most High God to put the weakest motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, of, of mankind in power right now. The hunk of the earth right now, man. Everybody want to go according to his vibration. It's fucked up, man. But it's all part of the Most High's will and perfect plan. You got something? Yes, sir. Second answer is 14. Uh, chapter 14 verse 17 for look how much the world shall be weaker through age yeah 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 so, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that will there the weaker you get the more wicked you get <laughs> that's it that's why people are so fucking um 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 a wooed of the of, of, of the basis of Esau Edom man yep yep All right, turn around and twerk and then you go you know then you go check for the week man. there it is you know, yep. that's all Esau does. He plays on, he plays on the um um uh, the pleasures of the flesh. Yep, and, and that's who in power right now. And as the scripture said, we talked about it yesterday. But as the scripture say, um, huh? King of flesh. Say that again. King of flesh. King of flesh. Oh, I forgot. Oh no, I'm all right. Why? Why? It's, uh, it's uh, Daniel chapter 4 verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the tent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever, whomsoever he will and set them up over it the basis of it. Right? So this is saying this is all the most high he set up the basis of men like the speaking of which is Esau Edom. He put them in power. So it's whatever the will, the will of the Lord, whatever he wants, that's what it's going to be. And he ultimately put this man, this basis man, which is the weakest, but also most proud in power, to ultimately bring him down in the end. Right? Because no one's going to be able to take this man down. That's what they always speak of. He'll take a divine intervention to save y'all or save this or do this and that. And you're right. You have about Shinao Shah going to send his son, the holy angels, to come destroy him. Right. Right. What you have done to the whole earth, not to the people. The earth, the water, the moon, the earth language shit, it's the clouds and the atmosphere. Hey man, and, and, and you know it's December right now, so if you look at these trees now, you know they don't got no leaves, but believe it or not, in the middle of July, none of these trees had leaves on them over here, man. Dead. These not even a hundred, these not even fifty-year-old trees right here, man. That's what we talking about here. Destruction. You know what I'm saying? And you know the elder Yak always go into it, man, like this is really a lesson to be learned, man. This is what happens when you don't follow the rules and regulations of the Most High, man. And that's, but it's okay, man, because you know, just like with the Egyptians, man, they were set up and put in a position to be powerful so that the Lord could glorify His name, man. The Lord brought it back. Uh, uh, you said powerful. Uh, uh, scriptures talk about how our, the, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, right? 
So right now they're willing in the day of whoever is in power. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because they look at that and they look at like, oh, okay, they must be doing something right. They must be doing something good because they're in this position right now. All right? And like the scripture says though, hey, I almost was envious at the wicked until I understood their latter end. All right? That's why the scriptures say, hey, when all of the workers of iniquity do flourish, all right, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. See, people don't understand that, all right? That you, what you're gonna reap, all right, of joining and, and wanting a portion of the wicked's portion, because the wicked's get, it, get gets its portion. Well, I've been always recently saying lately, wickedness what? Gets its time, and righteousness gets its eternity, right. you know? It's, it's like that uh, hierarchy that you said where, you know, it starts off at the top with the most high, but then after a certain point, it goes and starts decreasing. It, it ain't no middle ground when it comes to that, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they like to play the middle in this world, man. They like to just, they want to stand on the fence and hands their bets, and then when right. shit start going bad, now they want to jump on what side that's right. 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 This right. not how that's going to go, man. No. Yeah, you Either you all in or all out. Or all out. Either you're going to be on the, on the side of regression or you're going to be on the side of degression. It ain't going to be no... Let me wait and choose at the last minute. That that you gonna get a I don't know you if you try to play it like that, man. Yep. This is Psalms 12 and 8. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Right, hey, man. So this is a whole look. Chris talking about how the whole world, or how, the, how, the whole, how the whole earth life is wicked, man. You know, because the wicked are being exalted, man. You can't go anywhere and turn on no TV, no radio without hearing some goddamn abomination. Some false doctrine, all right, or some way to go off, man. That's it. You see, the brother read it earlier as the ruler is told his officers, man. It starts from the head, man. That's it. You that's know, and that's why we have we walk away from our power, yep. right? We end up being like them, man. Yep. Hey. All right. He said the worst of the father that you, uh, um, um, the worst of the devil or your father that you gonna do, man. So two thirds of our people, they their head is Esau, man. Yep. All right. So, so they're gonna perpetuate and do the same things. That he instills in them to do, man. That's it. That's it. Just to say that um, things will be turned upside down and the same yep. as the potter's play. And it's it's gotten so fucked up out here. The scriptures also say that open rebuke is better than secret love. But these niggas will tell you that you hating on them when you rebuking them to get them right. Hey. Yep. Upside we, down, yep, man. Yep. Hey, well, it says folly is set in great dignity. All right. See, when the wicked is ruling. All right, they, they, they rule with wickedness. They rule with folly. So the more folly you do, fuck around, get a Nobel Peace Prize out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know? You good, man? You, here it is. Dude, uh, it was a guy who was on, on the Wheaties box back in the 60s, 70s. You know what I'm saying? Now, now that same... Uh, uh, that same dude who was a hunk and was this sports icon and you know just manly man, now he is the woman uh, of girl. the year. He's a manly girl. <laughs> right, they gave him the woman of the year a couple years ago. The woman of the year. Hey, and if you don't call him a woman, man, you subject to go to jail around this motherfucker. That's it. Man. That's it. That's a crime, man, against Esau. Hey, brother, got one more real quick. This is, this is Proverbs 26 and 18. As a mad man who causes fire brands, arrows, and death, so is the man that deceives his neighbor and saith, Am not I in sport? Right, man, you gotta be motherfucking with athletes and, athletes and all these actors and all that, right? They're telling you or showing you a way that's not right. Well, all the while, they go home and, and send their kids to fucking private school, man. They're sending their kids to the best, you know, to the best institutions, the best way of life. All right, that they get, that America has to offer them for the whole time. Like, look, man, why can't we turn these motherfucking um, gangster niggas to faggots, man? Or moles, man. All right? And then sit back and laugh at your ass, man. Yep. Hey, these motherfuckers, man, they kids is far away from the streets as they possibly could be. And yet they get out here to your fucking neighborhood and tell you to fucking shoot your own goddamn brother. Yep. Hey, right. hey that wicked ass bitch Cardi B don't even let her kids listen to her shit. Nope. Man. But 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 all you black bitches got your little kids singing all that shit though.
And she one of the nobles too. Come they on, esteem man. her as somebody uh, that, that's up there. They know? got this bitch talking yeah, to leader. politicians and all that mm -hmm. shit. She probably gonna be the next president around this this motherfucker, man. All right, so I heard she got a doll out that's like thousand dollars or some shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. And all the motherfucking uh, little little heathen uh, 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 little girls, they want it. Damn hypocrite ass woman. Because talk about um, um, they're gonna be loving to themselves, man. That's all it is, man. America's nothing but idolatry, man. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's to look at me, um, um, it's to look at me generation, man. Yeah. yeah. That's being personalized, individualized, to you fucking what? To elevate an individual, man. Man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's, like the scripture says, in the most high, it's not in all their thoughts, man. Nope. All right. They, because. That's who should be getting the glory, man. All right? That's who should be exalted. That's who should be extolled. Forget that when a rich man speaks, they extol it to the, um, they expose it to the clouds, man. You know? Go ahead, I this uh, 1 John 5 and 19, and we know that we are of the Most High in the whole world, life, and wickedness. And how do we know that, man? Because we know what the scriptures say about the world, man. Yeah. All right? Because the scripture of Revelation says, um, for without are um, adulterers, dogs, poor mothers, and murderers, man. Mm -hmm. How do we know that? Because we separate ourselves from that, man. When we look out, we see the wickedness that's going on in the world, man. You know? Your ghetto ain't worse than mine, man. What goes on here goes on in fucking El Paso, Texas, man. Go ahead, I got some Hey, more. real quick, uh, like you were saying, you uh, hit that scripture, uh, how they exalt the rich man, all right? They exalt the one who they perceive to be in power. All right. See, but they're not exalting the one who put them in power. Nope. All right. They ain't looking at that. See, that's what our people just look at what they see with their eyes. All right. Not knowing the ones that they don't see with their eyes is more powerful. And, and, and not knowing that what they don't see with their eyes is really foul, man. I learned in the world a long time ago. A snitch can count money. A broke bitch can count money. A uh, ain't shit nigga can count money. Somebody that fuck people over can count money. Esau ain't did shit but steal, kill, and lie to everybody. He counting money. Yeah. You niggas talking about whoever got the money is on top. Why don't you go and see what these niggas doing? A lot of these niggas is doing some abominable shit to get paid, man. Yep. Shame even speak what they do. This Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the people. It's like it. The darkness shall cover the earth. And gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And hey, this is the world we live in. Gross darkness covers the people, man. Right, you know? and they think that it's light. Mm -hmm. Right? That's why the scriptures talk about woe to him that put light for darkness, darkness for light, good for evil, evil for good. Alright, because they have it's in the power of their hand to do so. See, but again, they fool the people because I always say the wicked not gonna come out and say, hey, <laughs> hey. I'm the wicked. Uh, you know, this is what we're gonna. This is the plan. All right, this is what we're gonna do. All right, nah, they're gonna come like uh, 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 like sheep. All right, they're gonna come in sheep's clothing. All right, they're gonna say that they're pious. All right, they're gonna say that hey, God loves America. All right, God bless you. They're gonna swear on the Bible. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They're gonna do all these things, man to make it look like that, man. But it's darkness. It's darkness. And people are gonna, uh, 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 gonna find that out the hard way. Yes, sir. This 2 Corinthians 11 and 14, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed <laughs> into an angel of light. It's, it's no marvel. It's no marvel, man. All right, that his minions, Satan's minions, do the same thing. All right? And here it is, they fooled the people. It says, uh, they came and spake peaceable words, but all was deceit. Okay. Uh, it's Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover what they cover, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Yeah, you see, our people, they're asking uh, counsel at their stocks, man. All right, those who's oppressing them, asking for, for help, asking for answers, asking to save me. 
<laughs> Do me some good. Don't worry. Do I got this link card for you. That's right where you need it. Oh, thank you, my son. Thank you. Oh, he's not so bad. But you don't got a car, so you're going to have to go to the corner store. And you're going to have to buy processed food. Oh, that's fine. Did we get our bus car? Uh, yeah, we got that, but you know what? Uh, the bus is broken. <laughs> you need some house we got some section eight for you but your husband he, he out of there yeah yeah he can't be around we gonna raise the chips no nah, you live in los angeles man we don't got public transportation like that over here y'all gotta y'all gotta figure it out or, or or we giving out free hams come on man a nigga will have a whole turkey ain't even sliced man every type of swine on the plate man nigga got ribs on the plate ham on the plate shitless on the plate Niggas wild, man. Yeah. Motherfucker can't even eat no carrots without having bacon on that shit, man. Damn. Fucking beans got uh, the, the pork juice in it. Yeah. Wicked, man. Fucking lard in the damn cornbread. Pork, pork and bean juice. Like a little hustle, man. Like 15 jeans, tink. You know, pork and bean juice. Go ahead, Doc. Just going off. Limitation chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Woo! See, but that's who our people are going after, man. But soon, they're going to be looking for answers and can't find them. And the answers was right here with the prophets, man, through the spirit and power. You know how about shine? We right here. But, like it says, yet they would not hear. All right. Like, that's crazy. Our people are looking for these people, speaking the wicked, looking for as the wicked as a sanctuary, right? But these are the same people who came and raped, robbed, and murdered you, and destroyed you, and even to this day, they demean you, put you in the worst neighborhoods, put poison in your food, your water, and so forth and so on, and you looking for them for help. Yep. But not the living power who girded you, who gave you your name, who gave you that those covenants, those promises. You're not looking for him for help. You're looking for a man that's going to be the short that can't save himself. Right. right. And, and, and they think uh, these people are cool now. All right. They let you out of this, uh, you know, the, the plantations and, uh, you know, the, the lynchings and the picking cotton and all this where you had uprisings, you had runaways, you know what I'm saying, and all these things. But now they make it look like, oh, you are emancipated. People don't even understand what the word emancipate means. All right, they think that they was just free. All right, but no, you just get the you in the control instead of other private uh, 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 plantation owners. Now the government got your ass. You know what I'm saying? And now you think you cool. All right, and now here it is. You know all. Oh, see, ain't no. See what they did was because back then you knew they were the devil. You know what I'm saying? They did all the shit. They had them teeth and everything. They fucked up and they, they stank and they did all this shit again. All that, you know what I'm saying? Did all these things to you and they was rah rah. The horns were out, but they took in the horns. They said, "We love you." We, you know what I'm saying? Go on out. All this forgiven. Here, as a matter of fact, let me give you this. Let me give you that. All right, so you can be dependent on me. Totally dependent on me. All right, so if you ever get out of line or all that stuff that I'm giving you, that now you dumb as hell, you can't get it on your own because you don't know how, because you depending on me for everything. All right, so now you're not in order no matter. Now we just switch your, you know, shit off and now you can't, you know, buy, sell, this, that, and the other thing. You know what I'm saying? They didn't, they didn't tuck the horns in, all right? See, but guess what? Those that's in the know, those who has the eye south to see, could see the horn, that nigga, your horn right there, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Look at what the fuck you do. You know what I'm saying? Other people of our people, dumb as hell, thinking they cool. You know what I'm saying? Thinking they, oh, that they, they, they was back then. No, they love now. Just celebrating. Yeah, you know that two weeks ago. Right. 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 It's that old um, um, analogy, right? With a snake, it's fucking all uh, chewing up and shit. The dude takes him in, picks him up, nurses him back to health, and the snake gets healthy and bites him. You guys look at Esau like he's all poor. We can, oh, let's defend him. Let's do this, you know, you know. But when you get to the gist of it, he's still a motherfucking snake still, man. All right, you gonna look for a motherfucking um 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 um, um some remedy or a, a reprieve of the um uh, 
slavery and, 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 and fire that we're in for him. And he's gonna be like, shit, man. I can do nothing for you, man. That's it. Hey, well, like the scripture says, who shall fit in your tribe? Yep. I got that right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Would you like me to start at 10? Wherever you start. Start right 12 and verse 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rust, rusteth, so is his wickedness. You see, never trust thine enemy, man. See, again, and oh, we never did get that uh, Sirach 33 and 10. I'm still holding. All right, just real quick, and then we're going to go back to that. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 33, verse 10. And all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of earth. In so much, in much knowledge, the Lord have divided them. You see, the Lord have divided that, the men that stem from Adam. All right, he divided them. What he divide them into? Nations. All right, matter of fact, real quick, hold that, get 1717, same book. Yeah, hold that and uh, get 1717. Just to prove the point. Go ahead, whoever got it. Huh? Okay, then it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 17, verse 17. For in the divi division of the nations, See, there it is. In the what? In the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion. But Israel, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans is the Lord's portion. And you best believe the Lord's portion is going to be an eternal portion. But go back to, uh, to that uh, 33. 33. Yeah, 18. All right. The book of uh, Sirach, chapter 33, verse 10. And all men are from the ground. Uh-huh. And Adam was created of earth. Yep. In much knowledge, the Lord has the have divided them. See, now we understand that he divided the men into different nations, different races, nationalities of people. Go ahead. And made their ways diverse. Woo! So now they have given uh, uh, ways, all right, where that, that's innately in them, that was given to them by the Most High God. He said he, he, God, made their ways diverse it goes on to say down in uh, a little further how the most high rendered unto man as liking him best so everyone has their ways their customs right he said that israel is the lord's portion i gotta get that deuteronomy 5 and 33 real quick because we were the only ones that was given this way because everyone has diverse ways go ahead this is a uh Deuteronomy 5:33. Yes. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 33. Now, mind you, this is Deuteronomy, where in Deuteronomy 1 and 1 it said, These be the words that were spoken unto Israel exclusively. No other nation. So right here in uh Deuteronomy 5 and 33, these still be the words that were spoken unto all Israel. Read. Ye shall walk in all the ways which the Lord your power hath commanded you. You see, we have our own ways. It says, What nation? All right, have laws and statutes so righteous as all this law which I set before you, you Israelites. All right, go ahead. That ye may live. That ye may do what? Live. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. And that it may be well with you. And that it may be well with you. Go ahead. And that ye may prolong your days in the land which ye shall possess. That was the promised land, Israel. And he said, hey, he had gave us some particular ways gave other nations their diverse ways one from another all right so guess what when there's wars going on all right they warring because they want to be on top and then when uh, any other any nation get on top they're gonna rule with the way that was given to them so then if I'm trying to live a certain way but then he trying to live a certain way that's my enemy right there because I want to live this way he want to do that. He want to be on top and rule with his way. That's my enemy. So all these nations are our enemies because they want to live an entirely different way, man. See, we want to live the way of the Most High God, the Creator. They want to live in their particular darkness way that was given to them. So now we can go back to that uh, Sirach. Yep. Yep. This is Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10. Uh -huh. Never trust thine enemy. Never trust thine enemy. So we should never trust these heathen nations, man. Go ahead. Now, especially 
numero uno with the bullet, Esau Edom, That's which right. is the basis of men, the wickedest of the nations. Go ahead. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. You see, yet he humble himself and go crouching and say, oh, I'm sorry. I just seen a video of a guy, uh, he was uh, washing the feet, like he was some pr uh, preacher, uh, have the appearance of looking like an Edomite. He was washing the feet of uh, young Jake and was saying how sorry for what, and he was like, well, I didn't do it, but my people, so I apologize for my people, you know, to your people, and uh, you know, washing his feet and this, he was going humbly, all right, and crouching, all right, but yet, it says, Beware of him, uh -huh. and thou shalt be unto him as thou hast wiped a looking glass, uh -huh. and thou shalt know that his rust had not been altogether wiped away. You see, because guess what? He's just, he was made to be rusty. You know what I'm saying? Right. And no matter how he no used that shine, no matter how much lotion right. does he put on, he go Hey, the man, the man Russ is going to come through all the lotion, all the oils, all the whatever, you know what I'm saying? That he tried to do no the horns are going to come out because it, it, it says uh uh can an ethiopian chain right there it is right here. well here's uh jeremiah chapter 13 and verse 23 can an ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil C accustomed to do evil. hey and look it's the spirit because look at what they got right here under the, underneath that damn snake man. snake serpent man snake. that that are, are accustomed that word accustomed is uh, the Hebrew word lamad, all right, which means learned in, trained in, all right. He was made to do that, all right. He was made to go in opposition of the righteousness of the Most High God, all right. So when you talk about those opposing forces, Jacob and Esau, that was fighting from inception, all right, that's the opposing force. You got the, 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 the top of the balance, of the wisdom of the Most High God, which is righteousness, and then you got the opposite, wickedness, unrighteousness. They do everything in opposition to the righteousness of the Most High God. They go on the law and be like, oh, he said, do this, well, I ain't gonna do that. He said, don't do this, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what that's what's going on, man. Said good is set against evil, man. Good is set against evil, life against death. It's, it, it says that he as is as death. All right, Esau eat him the wicked. All right, and that's what he the vibration that he got out in this world. Although he cloaked death for life. All right, well, you, you finish. Oh, you got a quick one. Go ahead, brother. Joel fourteen and four. Who could bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Not one. Because the Most High made them innately. All right, in them to go opposite of. The righteousness of the Most High God, man. You say, well, we make, uh, 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 well, quickly, be made straight, man. That's it. Because here it is. The thing is, is uh, us Israelites, now we got defiled with the dead. We got dirty. We got filthy. See, but that was something that's not innately us. All right. So now we can be cleansed by the word because we were made to be the clean. We were made to be the righteous. All right. But we got dirty. All right, we got, we delved in wickedness, all right? And it was all a part of, of the Most High's plan and will. All right, we had to do it, but this was the place also where we purge, all right? This was the place where we purge all those impurities, all that filth, all right? And we purge by giving heed to the word, all right? Going through this present evil world and all the persecutions, trials, tribulations, you know, all the things that we must suffer all the while keeping faith and integrity and rehearsing the righteous acts. You know what I'm saying? See, but you got this devil, you know what I'm saying? Our enemy, all right, who is putting all things in your path, all right, to, to, to make you go off, man, so he can accuse you. All right, you got more? You got something? Go ahead. Book of uh, Psalms 119, verse 9. Yep. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Yep. By taking heed thereto, according to thy word. You see? Taking heed according to that word. So we, the Israelites, can get clean, man. All right? Uh, it says, hey, to the wicked, what has thou to do to, to declare my statute? Right. Seeing you hate instruction. You ain't about to rehearse the righteous acts. You about to do what I made you to do. Be wicked. All right? And so, 
they can't get clean, man. They can't wipe away that rust, all right? Although they may mask it a little bit, all right? But then it's going to come back out. Go back to that. This is book of Sirach 12 and 12. Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee. He stand up in thy place, neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? So if you want a portion of the wicked and you think that, oh, he's your friend now and you're going to get answers from him and you're going to trust in his so-called science and, you know, all these things, all right, then, hey, you ain't no, no pity to you. We, we got, we out here telling you, all right, there's the damn snake, man. Don't go up and grabbing the snake and do, no, he going to bite you. Esau eat him, he gonna fuck you. <laughs> All right? With the sandpaper. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Or any such as come nigh wild beast. So one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him and his sins, who will pity? Yeah, you ain't gonna get no pity, man. If you uh, want a portion uh, uh, of the wicked, man. Because again, wickedness gets, gets its time, man. And in wickedness time, that's when we inhale. When wickedness gets its time, that's when we being humbled and humiliated. All right? When wickedness gets its time, that's when we got to fight. All right? When wickedness gets its time, that's not our rest. I was going to say, uh, uh, the, the trial of a wicked, but for a moment, man. All right? So this time is a short little time that this, that this man is going no, I was going to say, just like you said, as they get a, a, a moment of time, all right, because it says the, 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 uh, uh, the uh, what is it? Uh, the triumphing of the wicked. Yeah, the triumphing of the wicked is short, all right, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. Then it also says about us, about how our light affliction yep. is but for a moment. Yep. So while they get their moment of triumph, all right, we have our moment of affliction. That's why the Lord said, hey, if you suffer with me, then we shall be glorified together. Because the, the, the suffering of this present time, which is but for a moment, it cannot be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. That's why he said that, hey, you know, you deal with the chastening now, all right, it don't seem to be joyous but grievous, but afterward it worketh the peaceable fruit of righteousness to them that are exercised thereby. An eternal, all right, weight of righteousness. This Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. <laughs> Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Nay, this is a light affliction. We're going through to enjoy the pleasures of uh, uh, the kingdom of heaven, man. Going through that straight and narrow right now, you know, enduring that hardship. Hey, you're having to take the low right now. It, it sucks sometimes. You get to complain, but then you remember, hey, hey, at the end of this, hey, the, the scriptures say that the Lord has a, uh, he's not unrighteous to get your labor of love. And hey, cast down off your faith, has great recompense or reward, man. We're going to get the kingdom of heaven, man. Hey, hey first off, we're going to be perfected. We're going to be able to serve our power and righteousness without sinning against him, man. Then we're going to receive a glorious kingdom, man. And the scriptures say our kingdom is going to be built up with uh with sapphires, man, different gold on the car buckles. Nah, man. Hey, so, hey, yeah, we're going to go through that straight and narrow now to enjoy that, uh, that, uh, the, re the reward, you know? Right, because Peter talk about, he says, uh, there's not enough only to believe in the name, but to suffer for, uh, to suffer for the sake, man. All right? Because believing is just part of it, man. Hey, we have yet resi um, resisted unto blood, man. All right? We're not getting hosed down and dog sick on us preaching his word man but it's going to come a time where uh, 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 um, those things uh, um, may happen to brother man go ahead bro because uh, you made a uh, perfect point because in the in the um uh, in the ancient world our forefathers were getting put to death for coming over prisons. they was getting thrown in, they was getting thrown in prisons you know they was getting uh, uh beheaded put to death put to death all types of gruesome ass you know uh, right. uh draconian right. laws for keeping our customs no hazard in their life. Come. You know, I'm gonna get that real quick. Alright, because the thing about this um, the thing about the truth is suffering for your house me on shot, man. It's just suffer not as an evildoer, man. Okay? Hey, when we do these works in your house me on shot, if things come upon us that may be um um uh, perceived to be by the outside people as the Lord rejecting us, it's nothing but a chastity, man. That's right. You see? It's nothing but a whooping. Hey, your mama ain't whoop you all day. 
She took a little fucking break, man. Go ahead. Um, um, this right. Acts 15 and 26, men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai That's it. We go. You got it. Hey, 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 that's what, hey, that's what, hey, we got the, uh, the ancient patriarchs, uh, as an example, man, Romans 15 and 4 is the brother we just going into, man, hey, the apostle Paul was put to death, they was casting, uh, prisons, man, hey, they suffered the, uh, shame of the, the own people got up against them, same things that we suffer now, just not as bad back then, but nevertheless, hey, they still had that faith, man, and they persevered through it. And make no mistake, these devils still got that same mentality, just because they ain't moved or put it in, in motion just yet don't mean that they're not preparing to do so, man. They still think the same way. It's still illegal to do what we're doing. Uh -huh. This is still what the United States would call treason. But guess what? Fuck them, man. It don't matter. Right. This is uh, no, Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, this is James chapter 5, verse 10. Take my brother and the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering affliction and of patience. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the right of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. All right, man, good look. <laughs> hey, the end of the fresh, uh, um, the end of the suffering, all right, is gonna be a crown of um, um, a crown of glory getting placed on our head from your house shot, man. That's right. All right. So these things are taken upon me, of heaven to us, we take cheerfully, man. All right, because this is a time of year where, where Jake is really alienated from their families, man. All right? These are the times where, where we're really being separated from those who serve the Lord and those who don't serve the Lord, man. You know? And it weighs on your spirit, man. All right, but guess what? Hey, these things, we're going to say, um, um, these are the times to try men's souls, man. That's it. Hey, uh, like the Apostle Paul said, hey, and not only so, we glory in tribulation, knowing that it worketh something. All right? All right? I go into that from time to time of how, just like if you had a business and you had people, you know, under you and working for you, you know, they work for you to get your business established. You know what I'm saying? They work for you to get your business popping. You know what I'm saying, right? So here it is, these trials and tribulations we going through, they work for us. They work for us to ultimately mold us into the righteous rulers, judges, and gods that we're gonna be. We had to go through this experience, all right? We had to go through it. And when we go through it, long for righteousness, all right? Fought for righteousness, renounce corruption, Renounce this present evil world. Go ahead. This is uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And that's right. Hey, and we've been what, set up to be soldiers for Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. All right, so what's going to come with that, man? We in war. We in spiritual warfare, man. Yep. All right. Well, what was that in uh, Ephesians, the sixth chapter? You know, this is a spiritual warfare, man. We're not battling with flesh and blood. You know? Good. It's a. First Thessalonians chapter 3, uh, start at verse 3. That no man should be moved by these afflictions. <laughs> For yourselves know that we are appointed there unto. That's why he say, hey, blessed are those who's not offended in me. Yes, Don't be offended that this is not your rest and you got to make your body a living sacrifice. All right? Don't be offended that, hey, we are in captivity and we at the bottom of the bottom and must remain there until our Lord and Savior comes and get us up out of here. All right? We're not to be offended at the, 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 the straight gate. All right? We're not to be offended at the entrance to get to our uh, uh, inheritance, man. We can't be offended. We got to go through it, man. And it was all for our learning, man. All right, we were appointed there too. Go ahead. Verse 4. For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation. <laughs> we, hey, we, we got the memo, man. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? We down with the plan. All right, we got the memo. We down with it, and so we run it, man. All right, so we we, we out here, yeah. fearing the Lord. All right, loving the Lord, loving our people. That's why we out here, man. Even though they hate us, 
even though they think we a hate group and a crazy foolish. But we still out here because we got a job to do. We're appointed there too. All right, and those are the ones that's gonna uh, 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 be happy, all right, to see the appearing of our Lord and Savior, man. All right, that's why Apostle Paul said, uh, 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 there's a crown waiting for me, man, not only to me, but all those that love his appearing, man. All right, we're gonna love his appearing because we in hell right now. We in jail right now, he coming to free us, all right? And we understand that we in hell and, and, and that we're in jail. And, and we're not partying. All right? See, Yahawashai, he's coming to be a party pooper. He's pooping on this party right here. If you with it, you know, then guess what? You're not going to love the appearing of our Lord and Savior. All right? Because he's coming to crash the party and say it's over with. Nobody like a party pooper. You know what I'm saying? If, see, but we we back here, we not partying, man. All right, the party is to come, an eternal party. That's right. See, I don't want my party to end. You know what I'm saying? If I'm partying, you know what I'm saying? I want to get it in. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it to stop. You know what I'm saying? See, our party ain't going to stop. It's going to be a forever party. That's why he said, hey, the, 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 the sufferings you go through now, it can't be compared. All right? To the party you gonna have, you know what I'm saying? It can't it can't be compared, man, because ours is an eternal uh, a party in righteousness, life everlasting, health everlasting. All right, at the tip top of your health forever. That's right. That's the party we talking about. You don't want none of that, then something wrong with you. All right, but who got something? Yeah. Say even as it came to pass, me, you know. I want to say real quick, like uh, Elder Yashua always say, you can't be offended at prophecy. Say it. So we understand in prophecy that the righteous shall suffer strength pain, but yet shall hope for the wise. That's it. It says their hope is full of immortality. All right. See the hope of, of, of people in, in, in this world, man, is vanity, man. Joe Biden. Because, huh? Like Joe Biden. Because right. at, at the end of the day, man, you headed towards death. Down here in this world, you just, uh, you, you, you born to die. You know what I'm saying? And all in between, all right, it is, uh, uh, you go to a funeral, and uh, funeral, uh, they talk about that dash. What you going to do in your, in your dash? <laughs> no, we ain't going to live the dash. We ain't living it up. No. In our dash, we going through. In our dash, we learning. All right? In our dash, is full with, uh, with, with trials, tribulations, falls, sufferings, persecutions. All right? But also the Lord, he comforts us with his words and this hope. All right? While we going through all these things, man. See, but we must go through all this because this is, you know, uh, 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 basically purifying his jewels. All right, and the, the jewels are being purified through the pressure that's applied, man. Now, if the pressure is applied and you break, then you was none of his, man. All right? No, we got to keep integrity. Continue to do what's right, man. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, it's the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Thou hast scattered us for a reproach, a curse, and to be subject to payment. That's us right now. This this, this is our dad. You know, you know to, to go through this. You know what I'm saying? And we must accept it, man. All right? Because whether you accept it or not, you're going to go through it. I'm going to go ahead. According to all of the... Of, according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the... From Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah. You see? And when we departed, it says, hey, you, you depart, you wander off from the way of understanding, you remain in the congregation of the dead. So here it is, we rehearse the righteous acts, man, to the best of our ability, while we going through all these things, man, that's molding us, that's purifying and perfecting us. Just like our Lord and Savior said, uh, uh, well, uh, it was said of our Lord how 
that uh, the captain of our salvation was made perfect through suffering. All right? And so now we got to arm ourselves likewise with the same mind. All right? To go through the sufferings, to bear our cross. Because he said, you can't be my disciple. All right? If you don't bear your cross, man. All right? Go ahead. Whoever got something. Second Nature 7 and 18. Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for the wise, for they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things and yet shall not see the wise. Hey. Right, man, so either you're going to go through with the mindset of um, suffering for the Lord, or you're going to go through the mindset of not suffering for the Lord. But guess what? You're still going to fucking suffer, man. Guaranteed. Right, right. Guaranteed. That's it, man. Yeah. Hey. And that's the, oh, fuck it. No, no, no. You got it. And that's the thought process of these people. Why is this like this? Why is this like that? Well, you suffer, but you don't know why you're suffering. And, and, and the fact that you don't know why, you have no hope, man. That's see, it. We, see, we suffering knowing that, knowing that at the end of the rainbow, there's a pot of gold that's for it. us, man. There's rest. There's comfort. Okay? But you guys are suffering something that you have no idea of what your end is going to be, man. You see? But yet, we're all suffering together, man. The whole nation of Israel is suffering together, man. That's it. But we have the understanding at the end of our suffering, there's hope, man. <laughs> you people have no hope. That's it. That's why you're jumping off of trains. That's why you're blowing your brains out. Yep. That's why you're blowing your, your girlfriend's baby mama and son's brains out, man. Yep. Driving these goddamn cars to um, Lake Michigan, man. Yeah, drinking into a stupid. Drinking into smoking, a stupid. Smoking, you know, all type of whatever. Fighting, fighting your way to um, um to a foster of, of security, man. Yep. Yep. Hebrews are saying that you are in the need of patience. You are in the need of suffering to receive that reward. That's it. It's like our, the perfect example, our big brother. Yep. He had to suffer to receive his glory. Yep. The scripture saying that the service is not greater than his master. That's right. So if he went through that, we best believe we're going to have to go through as well. Yeah, right. especially if we want to be perfected. All right. If we want to be those righteous rulers, judges, uh, gods, and kings, and priests that he said that we're going to be. All right. This is what we got to go through to be perfected. This is the condition of the battle, man. That's it. And every man on the earth must fight. That's it. Look, and look, the Lord has chosen the um, the um, 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 simplest people to deliver his word, man. All right? The basis, man. Like the ones who you never thought was going to wear the crown, man. Yep. You know? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, you know. This Proverbs 27 and 21, as the finding pot for silver and a furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Who so is a man to his praise? So if if yeah, yeah me too. Uh, if, if, if you want praise, all right, then we have to suffer right now. We have to go through right now, man. All right, and then when we get praise, it's gonna be from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, and then subsequently men too. All right, because. Those men that he's he's coming to save, man, they went through their suffering. They accepted it. All right? They fought. All right? And those are the ones that's going to get that crown, man. Those are the ones who said, hey, he seen, you know, uh, the one taller than the rest. And he was, you know, crowning them with crowns. All right? Matter of fact, let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, did somebody else have something? Yeah, go ahead, brother. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2. In verse 4, it says, Whatsoever is brought upon me, take cheerfully. Take cheerfully, man, because it's for your good. It says, uh, 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 All things are done for the good of them that love Yahweh. Go ahead. And be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. You see? Be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Because it says, When men are cast down, then shall there be lifting up see but if when the lord come you already up well shit, you gotta go down you know what i'm saying he said he's coming to abase them that are exalted and exalt them that are are abased all right so we have to go through uh, uh being changed to a lower state because we had to go through that experience we're gonna have uh uh, uh being exalted for eternity so we had to know what it was like to be a base. We had to know that if we're going to be righteous rulers and judges. We're judging over the nations, man. 
and we're going to be able to tell the day she's like, shit, I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. All right? That's all right. We've been through it. We know what it's like. That's a righteous judge. He's been through the experience. Okay. You know? Go ahead. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Acceptable men. Uh, acceptable men. All right? When the Lord come back to accept particular men, all right, that is covered by the blood of Yahweh, that, that's covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai, all right, why are they covered? All right, because they had faith in the will of the Father. All right, they had faith in the wisdom of the Father. They had faith in the righteousness of the Father. And all of that is Yahweh Shai. All right, you, you got more? I got some more. Yep. It says, believe in him and he will help thee. Yeah, even though we're going to go through all manner of trials, tribulations, persecutions, ailments, sufferings. All right? He said he's going to help us through. And he's not a man that he should lie. Go ahead. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Order thy way aright, man. All right? Uh, what's it saying? Psalms, order my steps in thy word, man. They done made a song about it, you know? Nice song, but they don't, they don't do, they don't order their steps according to the word of the Most High God. But go ahead. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. <laughs> we gotta wait, man. You know what I'm saying? We have to wait. All right, and while we wait, we learn and grow and teach, profess confess all right go ahead and go not aside lest you fall you see and go not aside don't veer off the path all right don't veer off the straight gate don't veer off the wisdom knowledge and understanding from above don't lean to your own understanding because then you veer off don't lean to the understanding of another man who at the top of the pecking order is just man all right because then you veer off that path man all right and you remain in the congregation of the dead. All right? Uh, go ahead. One more. It's, uh, it's, it says, Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. That's it, because that's what we're about to get. But keep going. Look at the generations of old. There it is. Look at the generation of old. Look at the example that we have. Go ahead. And see, did ever any like it, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Nope. They were all taken care of. No matter what they went through. No matter what they went through. They were taken care of and straight. All right, and we must have that faith as well. All right, let's get that. Uh, you got something? Second Ezra 2. Second Ezra 2, yeah. So, second Ezra chapter 2. No, I had that. Oh, okay. Second Ezra chapter 2, verse 38. Arise up and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord which are departed from the shadow of the world. You see, those that's going to be accepted has done what? Which are departed from the shadow of the world. See, they departed from the shadow of the world, man. They have made their uh, 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 bodies a living sacrifice and uh, uh, transformed their mind, all right? Renewed their mind, all right? To be born again and roll in the spirit. Go ahead. They have received glorious garments of the Lord. <laughs> Go ahead. Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. Wow. The number of thy children, whom thou longest for, is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord, that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. Uh-huh. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number. They all praise the Lord with song. Uh huh. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, <laughs> taller than all the rest. Yeah. And upon every one of their heads, he set crown. Woo! It was more exalted, which I marvel at great. Woo! So I asked the angel and said, 
Sir, who are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the in immortal. You see that? Put off the mortal clothing, man. Renounce corruption. Renounce this present evil world. I'm not about it. I'm going to rehearse the righteous acts. All right, what you get real quick? This Hebrews 11 and 13. Uh -huh. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off. You see, a seeing them afar off. Go ahead. And were persuaded of them. And was persuaded of them. We persuaded back here, man. That's right. That's right. All right, that we want to be a part of that number. All right, that our Lord and Savior, which is taller than all the rest, is going to hand out some crowns. Yep. I want to be a part of that. That's right. I want to be up in that. So that means I got to put off the mortal clothes. That make I, I got to make my body a living sacrifice. Now I got to be a fool for your house shot. That's right. And I don't mind. You got something real quick? Go ahead. Look at Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, uh -huh. through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And put a, a, a mark. That mark is from the Hebrew word thawah, which means exemption from the judgment that our Lord and Savior is coming back with. All right? In the day of the Lord's wrath. All right? There's going to be some that's exempt from that judgment, man. Why? Because he said they were sighing and crying for all the abominations that's done in the midst thereof. All right, go back to that. This Hebrews 11 and 13, these all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. You see, we're just strangers and pilgrims on the earth, man. All right, we're just here for a time. This ain't us. All right, we just passing by for a learning lesson. We just came to train real quick. You know what I'm saying? For a moment. That's it. <laughs> All right, let's go back to that. Second Ezra, chapter two, verse forty-five. We got to uh, wrap it up. In a couple minutes, so get your last precepts out. He answered and said unto me, "These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal." See, put off the mortal clothing. We wasn't about this present evil world no more. We wasn't about fulfilling the lust of our flesh and. Uh, do as thou wilt and obey your thirst and you know get your bucket list and have fun get the money cars clothes and the whole success fortune and fame nah we put that off we good on this side all right go ahead and have confessed the name of your house that's what we doing we confessing the name of yahweh bahashem yahweh shy back here man all right and giving all glory and praises to him to them all right, and extolling Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, we're glorifying. He said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine and thine is mine, and I am glorified in them. See, we glorifying him right now. We're speaking about, him. all right? We're, we're saying, hey, that he's the light. He's the greatest example. And then while we talk in the talk, we walk in the walk to the best of our ability. All right, to the best of our ability and what was given to us to do. Go ahead. Now are they crowned and receive palms? Woo! Now are they crowned and receive palms? I got a question for y'all. Uh, yeah. Woo! What, what, what do palms represent? That's there you right. go, man. That's right. Hey, that's all we want, man. You got niggas in the fucking church collecting palms. Collecting palms prematurely. Ain't nobody motherfuckers talking about they say. Motherfuckers talking about all kind of shit, man. They giving out palms in church to niggas a victory on this side, man. Where's the victory when you still motherfucking living in sin, man? Still in this goddamn flesh. Because the brother got to read how we put that that um, um that mortal for immortal, man. Sorry, sorry. You see? So where's the victory? We're still subject to sin, man. All right, how you gonna win and you still still in this carnal ass flesh? That's right, That's not gonna happen, man. You see? Get that real quick, real, real quick, guys. This John 1 11, he came into his he came into his own, his own received him not. Mm -hmm. But as many as received received him, mm -hmm. to them gave he power to become the sons of the most high. Right, you're only a son of the most high if you if you receive the how about Shimel shot, man. That's the only way. All right, go ahead, go ahead. To them that believe on his name, mm -hmm. which were born not of blood, 
nor of the wheel of the flesh, nor of the wheel of man, but of the Most High. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And that was it, right? So the ones who believe on the name are the ones that are going to be called the sons of the Lord, man. Yep. You got to believe. That's it. You got to believe on the name, man. That's it. So we're going to end it there. Everybody else got precepts to just do the sit down. <laughs> all right so uh we're gonna end it there lord willing that was edifying with that we want to give all praises honor and glory to shalom and a bible ball a bible ball